Everybody, it's Tyler here at The Wave at WPI, checking out with 1898, the Duct Tape and Dreams, one of my favorite team names, by the way, I think we've seen on here. Uh, absolutely love this robot, by the way, a full rebuild. They have this team coming in from Massachusetts. We'll be talking about all the different features uh, of the spot as they come in. Really excited to see this play. Love the aesthetic overall. Let's learn more about this team coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Amy, let's start off on your robot, do a full overview. We're going to talk about the uh, drive first and then go into your intake. So I'd love to hear uh, the composition of your drive, what's gone into it first. Absolutely. Uh, so we're looking at a six motor drive here. We've got four 3.25 inch wheels going on. Um, the reasoning was for that was we, we really just wanted to be light on the ground and really be fast. So the, we've seen a lot of six ball autons, five ball autons. We just want to get as many acorns in there as we can. And so we want to be fast and get that in there. Um, uh, we're running, I think, 360 RPM, so it is pretty quick on the 3.25 wheels. Um, we also, <laughs> uh, for the intake, we're looking at a flex wheel intake. Uh, do you want to put an acorn in there? Sure. Um, so we opted for a bar at the bottom for A, support, and B. We struggled earlier with ramming, so right now when you try and ram into the goal, we just push it in really nicely, and it won't ride up into the intake. And we've seen some teams do um, like moving parts, but we didn't see that necessary. Um, the point of these little things, these little cut flex wheels here, is to make sure it can actually grip onto the ball when it's intake. Do it. So to make sure it's actually gripping to the acorn in the intake. Can we take a look at the undercarriage uh, and uh, yes, kind of show absolutely. that off for us too? Um, oh, yeah. So <laughs> a lot of wire management here, but I feel pretty proud about it. I think um, it looks good. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So we try to have a low center of gravity, so tuck in the, um, tuck in the battery under there and all six motors, and we just shoved a bunch of wiring under there because out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so when we talk about this rebuild as you go through on your robot here, mm -hmm. uh, what were like major changes for your Absolutely. drive intake? Um, so first off, we actually couldn't go over that bar earlier, but like the middle barrier. So yeah. the first thing we wanted to do was make sure that our gearing was not preventing us because last time we had a bigger gearing outside of wheels. So we were gearing up, not down. So the first thing we did was switch that. Um, we also added more wheels to make sure we're always getting over that barrier and 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 making sure these wheels are not we're always making contact with the bar excuse me cooper let's talk about the uh, flaps and the puncher mm -hmm. and what's gone into uh that and that side uh overall i love i love the design of your flaps on it so yep. i'd love to hear more about that and then with your puncher too we were talking earlier uh definitely changes that were yep. made for here and then changes for later potentially as yeah, well sure. too. so for our flaps we started out we knew we wanted to do a locking mech so when you go forward this piston presses out when you go in this high strength axle goes and then it locks so we can apply a lot of pressure put a lot of acorns we're like really interested in what's that going to do for skills our skills runs you want to demonstrate about pressing sure yeah so you can press in like i can press really really hard into this flap and it's not going to do much at all we have a slit for awp to be able to get the acorn out and then on this side we have a flap that's slightly um larger and to stay in size, we have a function with this rubber band to start um, attached to a wheel. So then when we drive, it's a single use function. We're able to get like a huge flap here. We're really happy with this. And then we just dyed them to, to look cool. So for our puncher, we're running a one red motor puncher. 33 RPM. 33 RPM. And the thinking behind this was switching from a puncher. Our previous bot was a catapult. And we found that the puncher was a lot easier to match load because there's less jams and you can go a lot faster, especially for skills. So we're also interested to see how that performs. And then additionally, when we were making the design for the puncher, we have two hinges. So it's more of like a U-shaped. So this saves a lot, a lot of space. So we're able to have this um, piece of plastic a lot lower instead of like over here. So therefore, we, when we actually like use the blocker, we don't like have holes in it and an acorn can't get through there. Looking at uh, when we were talking earlier about potential changes even more for the future, what ideas yeah. did you have in mind for that? For the puncher, we would like to add some sort of like grip to the standoffs here, maybe make them a bit wider. Also, this is like not with the puncher, but like a form of match shooting. We're looking to get the football gloves and really sort of All right. <laughs> improve on like how we're firing it because this is so new. This was built last week, this puncher. So like to be able to like really get all 44 shots and skills off is huge. 
I think that's, that's something really cool too that we were talking about earlier is that this whole rebuild was done in a week. Yes, uh, this is a this week's event, time. Which I think is really cool. Uh, you know, the, to get all this done and the, yep. to be this complete is very impressive for thank that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As we start to wrap on this robot, uh, let's pass it over to Aiden talk more about the uh, blocking mechanism and the hanging mech as well too. Uh, and once again, I know the blocker, uh, you got to a certain part where you wanted to go. Maybe you want to do a little bit more uh, in the future too, but I love this here about uh, generally what it's comprised of. Yeah, so the blocker is a two piston blocker and it just raises up. And the cool thing about this is that it also powers the hang mech. So <clears throat> the hang mech just goes over the middle bar, rides up, and the bot hangs from there. And when we put the blocker down, the hang mech actually stays. So this is how we stay in size, but when we drive backwards, it falls. So then we can go under the barrier as well. So future improvements for this blocker would be using, like, utilizing the string tension that everyone does. Yeah. So we can block shots even from raised punchers. <clears throat> And making also making this hang make a little bit more stable. As what well as a, what tier are you getting on the hang right now? We're looking we're getting an A tier right now, but <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to get a B or C at some point. Awesome. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for uh, taking time. Once again, uh, duct tape and dreams. You got to love the overall uh, aesthetics of this robot and a great bot as well too. Can't wait to see how it does. It feels so good luck here at Wave at WPI. And can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.